remember the free vax blade where is it there it is 24 volt pro that we got given earlier on in the year well it's done it's fully refurbished works as good as new time to have a look at how this terrible cordless cleaner turned out though it's it's only terrible because of this bit really we shall delve into that shortly. Let's have a look at what remains. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this is one of the earliest, I think, Vax blades that they did when the form factor first came out, when you know this whole style of battery came in before the clicking versions that we have today. And it is such a primitive little thing indeed. Under here, oh, we have our first filter which is very nice in there so that's what sort of stops the majority of the dirt going through into the motor then there's this really coarse black filter which is going to get absolutely destroyed because under this side we have the inner cage filtery thing oh there's dirt in there but yeah once all that's out you can see right through there is also in this model blimey i bet these don't get washed very often i can't even poke it out very easily come on ah. oh i'm not doing it in there is well another piece of this really and yeah that is how this one works now this machine the only thing that's actually the same about it is the exterior all the internals in this machine that's because I bought an entire working other one for £6.50-ish on eBay and this is all be waiting to go in the bin and that's why it's all wet look because I've just brought it in from outside so that we can look at it and yeah I made one really good one out of two and this is actually the bin from the original machine and the problem well if I say the problem this bit was broken which isn't really a problem normally but hey i had a whole other bin so that went on then i just found you know sort of the best bit for me so look here's the color of the other one look i even took all the rusty screws that were in this one and replaced it so yeah it was quite a pretty vacuum but i kept the other way around this is what we want they're different look vax did two different types i've no idea which is you know, version one which is version two so one of these is probably going to be worse than the other but in this one if we send to ourselves this way this is a tight fit in there no not even that way hang on oh i didn't bother caring because i knew i needed to keep the other one there we go this is a tight fit in there and then I'm not going to do it because it'll get filthy then your black filter goes in there and yeah then they decided to move so that you open the dirt side and yeah locate the tabs there, there we go locate the tabs in there and that is how it works so oh, there we go. I can throw this all the way there for me £6.50 I got a new well, a non-broken hose and of course I had to keep the oh bloody the 24 Val Pro sticker rather than the boring peasant spec bog standard 24 Val. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Right, so that's the machine, really. We can pop that back in there, pop this on there, I think, like so. No, oh, there we go. The bottom hadn't clicked in. And yeah, now she runs. She has a full battery. Oh, turn that down. Sniffle suction as usual. I'm not entirely sure if that's just because I haven't put something together properly or it's just not got very powerful suction. Because the thing with these is that this does a lot of the work. Obviously, there's a wand, it does some work as well, it makes it taller. Goodbye, wand. Yeah, this is the brush head assembly in all of its glory you can't take the brush roll out for servicing without undoing a lot of screws but it's quite tidy it now has a non-broken hose in it and the signature very stiff 
Vax slash Pneumatic Quick style brush roll, which is quite nice, I'll be honest. I mean, yeah, for context, yeah, I got given one of these and I bought an entire one with its charger, which is worth flipping 15 quid on its own, and a running battery for £6. So I think it's safe to say that these are worthless nowadays. Does that give you a good package for a free cordless? Well, for a start, there is very little to pretty much no slop on that joint. Obviously, in fact, I can show you because here is my Beta V8 that we bought for the Salto W1 before I realised that I preferred using it with the pneumatic quick. And yeah, this, this has tape around it as well. I've, I've done the electrical tape bodge because it's always both that wear, so if you need a new one and an entire new bin, not flipping worth it. Yeah, having got that problem here, we have the same down here, a nice pivoty joint, and it sort of still won't stand up. You still have that problem. You can even wheel your cordless around should you want to. I don't know why. Well done, Vax. However, it, it, it'll make this quite aggressive. Oh yeah, the little LED isn't working either. Not quite sure why. Don't think I care. Oh yeah, that. It's okay. It's very short. But on boost, doing it. Let's turn it off of its automatic boost mode. Yeah, the brush roll will do a lot of the work here, and it is very nice actually. But this forehead always is, as we know from packing it onto other ones. But yeah, this is an identical head to my Audi battery hack version, and that's always very nice to use. Oh, there's something bit there. was all right actually you know for, for a worthless free vacuum however the problem always occurs in here with these because hey that's picked up a decent globule of fluff from our rug and yeah you know there's a fair bit of other muck and debris we will make a little pile over there but the problem is it all literally goes straight over here I mean, it makes a tinko look good because, you know, that's just from this rug on the filter. That means that all of this is, yeah, look, it started to saturate the foam filter. And after about four or five uses, all that will need a wash. And I've got a spare foam, but the one I bought from eBay didn't come with one of these filters. So I've only got one. And, yeah, that's the big problem with these. I, I think they did fix it in the later ones. I don't have a three or four so comment down below do you just have that little piece of sponge in there for all of the filtration i mean you know if it just sucked it all through into that sponge but you know it's still picking up and if we can do the hard floor as well it's no Dyson V8 there. The fluffy head does make a difference. Well, I guess that's quite pertinent, really, because these two would have been, and yeah, still spiritually are, in direct competition with each other, obviously. The Dyson V8 and the Vax Blade. Well, obviously, the Vax Blade would have tried to copy the Dyson anyway, which it fails to do because, yeah, I mean, as much as we pick on these and they are cheap, worthless junk that goes for a big price, it's, it's all in here that makes a difference. I mean, this is actually a recent filter. I did wash it the other day and the old one wasn't bad. I just did it because I haven't done it for a few months and I, I do use this. A fair bit and yeah it's all the billions of pounds and all of the patents and trademarks that have this bit 
which is what makes all of the competition sadly fail. So even though this is worthless and you can pick these up for nothing, and I had to pay £70 for this, and even then it was it was broken, although it's got an all right battery, so that helps. And yeah, these were free. What do you reckon, really? Do you think I would probably save up and just spend the money on a V7 or a V8, especially if it comes with all of its tools? But then again, the allure of a free Backsplade 2 slash 3, I'd imagine they're the same, isn't too bad. Yeah, if you spend another 10 on a second set of filters, so you can wash and reset it once every couple of weeks, you probably get on okay. And um, that's about it really. You've already seen the Mila 24 volt video, which yeah, is where all of the secondary stuff went. So stay tuned because now that we have our baseline on this, and you know, the fact that it's not great, but the floor head does all the work, you wait until the second video of the Mila 24 volt. Oh, I'm sure we shall see this again. But let me know your thoughts on the Vax Blade. I mean, it may be pretty terrible, but they're certainly very reasonably priced and a lot easier to pick up than something like this on a budget. And, yeah, they'll both not last very long because they're cheap, cordless rubbish that's made in China. But until the next time, I and some other catastrophic cordless catastrophes will see you soon. Bye-bye.